Expensify tutorial how to use Expensify for beginners step by step. Hey guys, all welcome back. In this video, I'm giving you a tutorial on Expensify, how you can manage your expenses, your budget, and much more. So let's get into it first of all what you need to do is you're just going to go to expensify.com and you will land on this website right here once you get to the website it asks you to sign up which is really easy we have different options we have email phone number google and apple as well so i'm just going to go with the email here select and enter your email address right here click on next and join once you sign up for expensify it will take you to your desktop dashboard pretty simple platform yet provides a lot of different options and is very beginners friendly so once you get to the main dashboard of expensify you will get this menu here we have an inbox expenses reports settings and support so these are the options uh, first inbox now inbox is just like a simple inbox that we have for our main notifications from expensify and to communicate with the team member to communicate with um you know a client or a customer as well then we have the expenses now this is the main option of expensify this is where we create our expenses so let's actually get into it go to the expenses click on new expense option at the top here now within our expense we have manually create scan receipt create multiple or time we can also go with manually create with the distance or create from a map so we have a bunch of different options this one is the easiest if you're using your mobile phone uh, you can scan your receipt and it will add all of the you know information for now we're going to go with the manual creation of an expense so merchant name this is where you will enter a merchant name for me i'm just going to enter here let's say this is the merchant name now date this is where you will enter the date so i'm just going to add the date for today total now you will enter the total amount here let's say 500 and you will select your currency now it depends on your country as well i'm gonna go with usd here there it is okay you can see now so you have added the total category this is where you select the category we have a bunch of different options available uh, advertising benefits car equipment fee insurance home office labor maintenance um others if you uh, don't find any option here you can just go with the other so for me i'm going to go with the professional services attendees now this is where you enter the attendees for your um, expenses for your you know the category that you have selected and everything so for me i'm just going to add uh, you know myself here so we're just going to go with you description this is where you can add a description like any kind of notes any kind of description for the expense that you're creating you will enter it right here then we have report so in report you can go with the new and click on save this is where i can also enter a an image of the receipt if i want to if you do not want to do that you can leave it we can also select the distance and we can add a receipt from a map then we also have a time so we can even add a receipt per hour if it's early work then you will go with this option and if it's like a distance thing um, for instance it's a, a work that depends on the distance on the location then you can go with this one then we have early and multiples as well so if there is multiple uh you know services happening at the same time then you can add them right here and create one expense for that so with expensify we get a lot of different options so you can see all of the options here once you're done click on save and your new expense will be created you can see this is my new expense the list will be shown here now i can go to the report section so in report it will show me all of my different expenses and i can create a new report at the top here click on new report and now we can create it add expense from expenses we can add like a new expense we can create a new expense or we can add the one that we just created after that it will give you the report you can write something about the report the report that you're creating click on submit and your new report will be created 
this way you will be able to create reports in no time and even if you are um, you know working in a position where you need to present the reports then this is actually going to be very useful for you now this is at the top our main account and we have our product changes and our you know sign out option then we have our settings in settings we have account so when you're uh, doing your settings we have the payments here go to the payments and you can add a, a bank account here you can also add your payment methods paypal and any payment card so this is where you will enter the payments within your account we also have preferences here expense rules credit card imports and account details then we have our support and inbox so inside our inbox again i can now uh, you know chat with my merchants my clients customers um anyone i want to chat with let me take you back to the expenses option now within our expenses if i click on new then we also have manually create with distance create multiples now let me show you how to create a multiple because it can be a little confusing so you can see you select a date let's say for tomorrow we can create more than seven here select the date select the merchant the total amount it can be different it doesn't need to be similar like so click enter now you can see it will be created here and you can also add the categories and you can add different services for different expenses for a different amount and you'll be able to create multiple expenses this way so this is the new expense option here and then we have our main account so expensify is really easy to use and you'll be able to get started in no time when it comes to the main features of expensify we have expense management spend management, expense reports, company credit cards, receipt scanning app, bill pay, invoicing, CPA card, payroll, and we can also take care of our travel expenses. And the best thing is Expensify is completely free and you'll be able to get these features for free and you can get started. Let's create a new expense according to distance. Enter the distance right here, select the rate, select the date, amount, select the category, add description and add your report click on create receive from map and you can select in an image or a map application from here click on save and a new expense will be created according to distance how to create an expense with time add your hours at per rate let's say it's hourly work and it's 50 per hour enter the date enter the amount that you selected from here select the category again we have different categories here you can select other and add in description then we also have reports so you will select any of the reports that you created you can add the receipt from here click on save and your new expense will be created according to time so yeah guys this is how you create expenses with expensify it's a platform to create expenses to keep track of your budget and much more I hope that I was a big help to you. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.